Today, I am going to show you a couple of ways how to mess with your friends. Of course, I'm not counting the numbers, so you probably don't know, but anyway, let's start. Um, so, this one's one with scaffoldings, and uh, let's do a warden, I guess. So, get scaffoldings and a warden spawn. So, build up. Uh, eh, I don't know. Really high. Like, on top of your friend's house, like, more than 28 blocks because a warden can sonic boom that far. Okay, you also want, may want to name him. Also, it. I remember this one guy. This is kind of, it's kind of like, it's really cool. So anyway, make a space that the warden will fit in. Um, and make sure you can't hear him also because the surprise is over. But my friends are not here, but I do have a couple of friends. I do have friends. Not a lot of friends, but... No! And that's why I have to be very careful. Anyway, yeah. Put a little thing that the warden can fit in. High enough, remember, way higher than mine. Like, not quite to the height limit, but, like, close. Like, don't give the surprise away. Because then they're going to know and they're probably going to try and be off your friend list forever. I would not like to have my friend cancel it. Anyway, too high. I mean, too block high thing. Now, of course, my friend is never going to fall for this. Block high, mom. Sorry, distraction. Anyway, yeah, so build the little thing and put the warden. And there we go. Now look, I'm gonna break that. I noticed that was your big mistake. Because there's the warden. Now, unless they hear it, and they squat, you're in big trouble. Because unless you have, like, a way to kill them in one hit, like a mod, you're, like, done. Anyway, we'll ignore that guy because I'm not switching worlds. So we'll just have to w and ignore that guy. Anyway, I'm not going to build my best houses. But this one, you're going to need your friend's house, a creeper spawner, uh, a zombie spawner, and why not? Uh, now, real quick, I do want to get rid of this guy, and there's a way to do that. Just real quick, I'm going to do this. Anyway, I'm going to build my friend's house, because they're not here right now. They're offline. Ay ay ay. Anyway, so, dude. So, me, so, your friend's house. For an example, let's say this is your friend's house. If this is your friend's house, believe me, they would hate it. Mm. You want know for the roof? I'm gonna be just 
I'm trying to make it look a little nice. I'm not trying to make it like, yeah, but really, this house looks kind of nice to me. Now, you guys have other opinions. This is a horrible house. Anyway, um, build a, this is your friend's house, right? Well, take out the top. Now remember you like that. And then get trap door. Okay. Now place. Actually, you want a trap door that nobody's gonna see through. It's like the spruce. Otherwise, people will know this is gonna be the biggest mistake. I need once you've done that, reinforce a creeper. Now, oh, that's good. Okay, anyway, do this on a house that a creeper won't escape. A tall roof. Put all the mobs you've got. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Your friend is totally gonna notice this. Bunch of mobs. Now when they enter, they're curious what's in here and big mistake. Now, yeah. The warning idea is probably one of my favorites so far. Anyway, um, I think this one will be pretty good. So in a dark cave, get piercing on your crossbow, and your guy's gonna have a shield, okay? It's gonna be more fun. Of course, that still can have your shield up. Get the piercing on your crossbow and shoot him. Remember, in like deep dark, like in the deep dark, where it's gonna just gonna go through the shield. Remember, pierce. Oh no, this one I call really funny. This one I call the TNT elevator. I made it up, but so funny. It's just so funny when you shoot the flame arrow. I'm not giving away the surprise, sorry. Anyway, yeah, you get flame on your bow. I guess I'll give that a surprise on you. I guess I'll give away the surprise right now. Get flame on your bow. And then get. Oh. And then. Not the dragon's breath, but this actually. But this time, get the TNT. Now, for my terrible house, for technical reasons, I'm just gonna. So anyway, in your friend's house, on the floor, remember, not where I'm doing it, you are going to do a pillar about eh, five or six blocks. Now, shoot your flame arrow. That's like an elevator. And then wait till it gets down there. Big mistake. And you can take this as far as you want, but the only tip you need is that you need to not, like, watch. See how 
high my TNT pillar is? Now watch this. I'll show you the difference. Look at that. It's, now it's only gonna go to about there then do that. Now look. Look how tall my pillar is. Now watch this. The point is you want the arrow to go through the TNT and down there and then stop. Bam. Big mistake. We go tell your friends to do that. Now let me show you. Let me do something I think might work. Because your friends are obviously going to know it's going to ignite the thing. Now, good. They're not going to fall through. Do that. Tell your friends to shoot through the snow. Big mistake. Or that way. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So you want it to look like it's not much TNT, but again, you want to make it look like there's a lot of TNT. You don't want, you don't even want it to make like there's even two blocks. And this says them. Now, this one may be. Is that my bow? I keep that. Your this next trick is really cool. So get something like bedrock and. Trap them in a bedrock box, whether you know when they die and they just go, and they just spawn. Well, you want to do this trick. Build a portal. Build the bedrock prison. And you want to where they don't can't break out. Bedrock is breakable, but it's going to take their whole lives. Anyway, do this. Remember, cover this side too. But just so I can get in. Now, what you're going to do now is. I did not get lucky where I am. Guys, what the heck? Look at this. Yeah, I'm so frustrated about this. Anyway, I'm not. Other side, oh, I used up saying shoot. That's okay. Build the thing and get put a bed in each room. This might even confuse me. Oh, I'm going to put one in the overworld, one in another. Now, unless they get their lucky day, they're. Now remember, I'm only gonna sleep just because. Now they're gonna pick probably. That they're probably gonna pick the bed. Here. If they do, not only will they die, but it should break the portal. Big mistake. Yeah. See what I mean? And it should take. Now, let me do something. Good drives. Unless they have wood. It's there. Unless they have wood, they're just. Their lives are basically gonna be in the nether unless they get the food and steel. There's gravel in the nether, but what there's not in the nether is... That's right, iron. Now look at me, I spawned at by a fortress. I mean, lucky. Now don't make an obsidian prison unless you do it in big layers, because they're gonna be able to escape. Anyway, um, this next one is going to be sick. 
build your so build your friends a little thing like this. The one bad thing is they're just gonna have to hear this their entire life. But other than now, you are going to get cobwebs. Or really, make sure your friend is in survival, not creating. And just build cobwebs. Just build. Now, unless they want to die and respawn back at home where they don't have to worry about their friends' deathifying questions and things, I think that would be a good choice. Now, the one thing I do, I, I would build, I would build another portal, like a bedrock, and they can't get out. I'm gonna be nice on this one dude that dares to come through. He's probably just gonna wanna come down. He'll come down. That's his wish. He will come down. Now, you won't take as much fall damage if you land on hay bales, so that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully they don't burn. If they do burn, then this guy's probably at all. Hey, these are only chance books. There we go. That let's even get. So let's give them hay bales. Now, be rough. Very rough. Don't be easy on this prisoner. Do like a massive parkour jump. And then just build it however you want. Literally just however you want. And then they'll have to do it just for a notch up and swim out. But they're gonna be trick. But <sighs> somehow we're gonna have to get them to die. I think you could actually put one. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. Okay. Okay, um, get your item frame and do like mega jumps. Like really hard jumps. Torture these guys. Anyway, once you've got the parkour you want, remember, this is not what you're going to do. Like, you want them to put one enchanted golden apple. And now, if I remember right, it gives them four minutes just to do that. Yeah, this is definitely not a good trick. Now, unless you really want to do this to your friends, do it, but I won't. Anyway, this could be good. For some. Yes. Hey, hey, uh oh. Okay. Anyway, what if this next trick you like? So somehow you are going to remember bedrock. Now I'm gonna do this on a zombie just so you can see how painful it is just to walk. Now I'm gonna do this somewhere else because we've had a lot of trouble here. So we are going to um try and so with my flame balls. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Sorry, Mr. Zombie. Mrs. I said. See that arrow we just did? That's exactly what the plan is. They get, get a good high thing 
Trick your friend of getting in there. Oh, you. Um, anyway, get in the thing, remember, you're a way out. And start shooting arrows, just like, until you get a bunch. Like, a really, like, there's you like 64 of them. A stack of arrows. Not like, a lot. Before they start disappearing, or you pick them up. So build it high enough. What's that? Is that a zombie? See that? See what it just did? Now we need to do this differently. So the zombie takes additional damage. My screen's kind of laggy. Anyway. Oh, I don't. will love it when you just get all their enchanted golden apples if they have any. Do this at spawn. This is the spawn is probably the best place. Anyway, shoot arrows. Uh. My guess is that's a stack of arrows. I'd stop the, I, I just be so mad. Cause unless your guy has a shield or something else, he's gonna be pretty, really mad. If he has a total of undying, you, he's just a little well, because total of undying don't do anything. They're just in your hand to waste space on your computer, tablet, pocket edition, whatever you're playing on, Xbox. Oh yeah, one of the arrows is on fire. Oh! I heard that's rare, actually. Oh, yeah. Wait. You can ride sheep? I'll do like a bun. I have backup. Make sure none of the arrows are, are on fire. I would not get another bone because that would just be getting moved. I'm using a thing I have. By the way, does this look power fire? I don't think it's power fire. It does look like it does. Let's see if I can get that creeper, guys. If I do, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If I kill that big slime, do it in every video we do. Okay, 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 okay. He's probably at like half health. Let's say you have a favorite YouTuber. I mean, let's say you're a YouTuber, sorry. And someone didn't subscribe. So basically, you would not like if somebody subscribed for your channel. So I'd say that you do this really. Now I say you do 
let's see how how does the M portal frame look in the end when you when the portal in the end like something like this? I don't know. A lot of kids mess up the M portal frame. Okay, let me tell you what. I could do that. I'm not going to. Okay, let's just say this is mine. Build whatever you... Build whatever really is. This time we're going in the end. Now, I'm not defeating the ender chicken. I may at the end. It's just way too easy for me, so I may not. Anyway. So, okay, here's how you do it. See that piece? One. Come See that piece where's the cr sorry guys. See that piece where's the cross? Oh, that's cool. That piece I'm pointing at with the arrow shot. That should be facing in. A lot of kids do this. That see what I mean? It's not gonna light, guys. You need to, you can't just build it willy-nilly like this. You know the eyes go in, watch. And then you're like, what the heck, I did all right. Yeah, well watch this video because nobody teaches you that. If you look it up, they're just going to say make sure it's facing in. You're not going to know what that means, so. You should probably subscribe if you agree. See what I mean? One, make sure your friend gets in the end somehow. Oh, I'm gonna save that because I'm not gonna be able to leave the end. Anyway, um, what you're going to do is you are going to make sure you build a prison even out of end portal frames. You can break it. You can make it out of obsidian, bedrock, or even end portal frames. Now you, now see this. Yeah, you can do it. You, you can't break it unless you're creative. Okay, anyway, leave the dragon. Make sure you, like, build. Let me see. We're going to do that TNT thing. Okay, the different me. Did you know that if this bottom part right here is broken, then the ender dragon that lands there will actually fall down. He's already doing it, see? He's floating on top of that thing, guys. I don't know if you knew that or not. Now, this is not some episode about 37 things in Minecraft here. Yeah, no. Look. See what I mean? He gets under there. Now, of course, if you place blocks above him here. Look. Anyway, you just dig under box. See, you'll get lower and lower. So what we can do is help them. We are going to let them perch again. So we are going to, we are going to do that. Wait, that doesn't work. Maybe it just has to be better. Anyway, what we could do is this. Cause you can go through TNT once it's lit. Like that, good, 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 good. Now wait. Till he's perched and hit that. Okay, don't let. I'm gonna let my hand off the next time he perches. Here come! Here come! 
comes. Here it comes. Okay, okay. Just gonna do that. Now watch. <laughs> yeah. See, he's under there. Now what we could do is this would even be a good trick to build the M portal frame. And let's just say we already left the end. We already left the end. Oh, by the way, that should be another secret. So let's see if we can get him. Okay, now I want you. I want you guys to get the bedrock. Um, remember, make your friends go in the end somehow. My friend exit. No, it's going to be really frustrating in the, if this breaks. Anyway, your friends are not going to be able to get under here. Unless they want to spend a life that you're trying to break. Anyway, now you can leave the end. Of course, your friend is going to go out. So what you could do is modify it down here. To make it deeper and... Let's just try. So just build a TNT column, like a three by three thing. And then you, you get um with a little hut, probably made out of bedrock, so nobody break in. And only you can get it. Like, create it. Now, you can also do this in survival. But you can't get the bedrock in survival. Okay, now, good. Now, once your friends are like... What the heck? You are going to shoot that column at TNT. Now, this is pretty lame. I couldn't think of anything else. Guys, I'd do that. But... Yeah, make sure that doesn't happen for a change. It's almost like you can teleport TNT away. Okay, anyway. Make like a trail of TNT, like gunpowder. To where next time he... Nah, I can't do it. You just got to time it out just right. It's gonna be, but it'll be really funny by one thing. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you go. Like that. Now, I'll be really upset if that doesn't work, but... Yeah, that probably... That probably did something. Okay. Okay, that's sick. That's sick. Okay. That's just it. Now, here we go. This could be really helpful. Now, see why he wasn't doing it. Now, you could really play some good tricks on your friends. Like water suffocating. I can't go through. It's really funny, but look. You just got it. Trust. It's really here. Then they know if they've been free. I agree with you. Oh, that's it. Okay, I didn't even defeat Minecraft. That's cool. And I don't know where we were somewhere. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go back in the portal. Now watch. 
here's another trick. So whether you're you left a stronghold or something, what if you shot some arrows? Now let's see if they actually show up in the end. It seems like they don't. Unless you have an elytra, that would be risky. Elytra! Nice. Well, you have an elytra. Okay, anyway, that one trick I showed you is really, really helpful and cool. Anyway, let's break all this. But they're gonna tell about the smoke. This would be really helpful in the water trap. They don't know which one's open. Let's see. Take it out. Only that one. I remember. Now, you could go even further with this trick. But the point with it is you're gonna get suffocated. Don't get you you probably get it. You're gonna get suffocated. Now of course uh, yeah. Make patterns. Whatever you want. Ugh! Attack! And this would actually be a good trick. On a zombie, for an example. No, it wouldn't work, because zombies turn to drown and they get an infinite supply of water breathing. Anyway, um, so yeah, you can't see. It's like an invisible whatever. So, but make sure your friends are under it and don't see it. Because, yeah. Because, pretend I'm like, for an example, Leafy's or X in a story. Just pretend I'm a YouTuber or someone who plays a multiplayer, you know. I see smoke. What the heck is this? Oh no. What? Oh yo. What the heck? I mean, I see the item frames. Like, what's that? Good time to trap them in. Now, of course, they could see through and yes. Now the... Now the... Now the best thing you could do is actually make a pet. Look. Now it'll glitch. Do it just right. Let's do a drowning method, maybe. Okay, anyway, this is a good method. Now, unless you find the right hole, you're gonna drown. You're really risking. See that? And then you get teleported at the end. Here's another good trick. At spawn, you should put an end portal. Now, I don't know where spawn is. This could get really annoying for me. You would have to defeat the ender dragon and then do all that process. That's such, ugh. I would just be so mad. Right, guys? Well, Look at this. Place where you spawn in the end and where you spawn the overview. Now watch a funny business. Dang it, that didn't work. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm running out of ideas. Yeah, yeah. Anyway.
You can't break end portal. Wonder why. That trick with the under the end portal thing, I even got confused with it, guys. Use that on your friends. Like, that's a really good idea. This is another good trick. I think this will do disappear, but all right there. I forgot. Your home bed was missing or distance. Anyway, I have to leave the end anyway. Hmm, boy. Anyway. Friends, in the end, again. Ah, can you get me this obscene part? Let's play another. Maybe, okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to place Tandy up here. Now, this is the last thing, guys, because I need to end this. Place Tandy like that. Now place place water in here because you can place water in the end. So why not place water? All around it here. Now all around this, you need to place pressure plates. Of course, I think this is not going to hurt the player. I may as well go in survival. Should I, guys? I don't know. But put these. And it should be fake. It shouldn't blow up. And no, run around things. Now, unless they have... That's a problem. It doesn't even explode. Now, let me rub my legs. I guess block pressure plate for blocking water is not true, but um yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button uh, because I would appreciate it very much. Ay ay ay. Let me go back to the overall. Then I'll end this. You all want to see more? I know. Did that wrong. Bye bye, guys.